The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. It's Friday. Um, I said it's Friday. What What's happening here, M? I've created a monster. Cause nobody wants to see more, so no more. They want shady. I'm chocolate. Uh, well, if you want shady, this is what I'll give you. A little bit of weed mixed with some hard like some clock. I thought I'd jump start my heart quicker than a shock. When I get shocked at the hospital by the doctor. When I'm not cooperating. When I'm rocking a table while he's operating. Hey! You waited this long to stop debating. Cause I'm back. I'm on the brag and ovulating. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. It's 603. Very cold this morning compared to the last week or so. It's a 27 degrees. Pretty cold at the bus stop today, huh, Case? I, well, I took an Uber in, but yes, yeah, very cold waiting for the Uber. Whoa, before we get started, why'd you do that? I had a bunch of work I had to do here. I needed to get here sooner than I normally do. And why wasn't the bus, it runs all night? No, it doesn't. It stops after midnight, and then I take the first bus in, which comes at like 4.20 by my house. Oh. But I need to leave at 4 o'clock to get here by that time because I had a bunch of stuff to do today. Oh. If I could get here earlier every day, I would, but I'm relying on the bus. Yeah. It doesn't run overnight. Um, so I took an Uber that turned out to be a Tesla. Which I never get that. If you're if you have a Tesla, maybe don't maybe don't buy a Tesla if you have to get Uber driver. Why? Because it's a, you're saving gas money. How are you saving gas money? I mean, the Uber driver oh, oh. was because it's an electric car. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, you're not saving gas money, but they are. But so it's, an expen- all- it's an expensive car. I just feel like it's weird to be an Uber driver and to have a Tesla, which wasn't the point I was going to make. The point I was going to make was. <laughs> I'm too poor to get in a Tesla. I don't understand how those doors work. Well, that's a, that's a fact. They are weird, the yeah. doors. I hate them. I, I mean... I the, the driver, whenever this happens, whenever I get an Uber Tesla, which now happens pretty often, they always have to open the door for me. Yeah. Which is... Okay, there's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> you're not you're not good enough to, to ride in a Tesla. Accurate. Um, you can't open the doors. They need to open the door for you like you're their date. No. It's... I'm, I'm a liability. I'm not a date. It's not romantic. Um, They're afraid I'm going to break their car. Just because you can't get the door yeah, open? Yeah, pawing at it like a puppy. Got it. And you thought you were saving gas money when I said the driver <laughs> drives a Tesla. He's saving money. And his profit margin, sure, he can, you know, reach out and, and spend that extra money, but he's going to get that back by saving all the gas money eventually if he, if he drives Uber for, I don't know, 15 years or something like that. Sure. All right. I but, won't fight you on that, man. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm glad we cleared that up on yes. how you got here today. Yeah. Uh, now, 7 a.m., Less than an hour away, it's one of your last chances to get to the Killers in Vegas, GTFO. So you have to be here all day today on Q101 starting at 7, the first chance at 7. And remember, 8 o'clock, Pearl Jam tickets at Wrigley Field. Yes! We world premiered the song, we debuted the information, and now we have the show. 8 a.m. Just be here. They're both very easy. You don't have to know anything. Just be here at those times, and you'll be here uh, possibly at Pearl Jam and possibly, of course, flying to Vegas to see the Killers. Also, LCD Sound System, more concerts. That'll be in Clash with Kenzie Kara Caribou filling in again today for uh, Kenzie on maternity leave. So we'll do a trivia contest there. So before we continue to get started, I do have to stop and go backwards. I saw something on the way in this morning. Case was riding his uh, rich Uber. <laughs> it, was, it was on sale. <laughs> I had a 10% discount code. It wasn't a rich Uber. Oh, it's the best feeling. So how much did it cost? $12. That's a great for, rate from almost Wrigley Field. I north know, of brother. Wrigley Field, I actually. Know, in. I know. Speaking of Wrigley Field on the north side. I just got an alert this morning because I know a lot of people go out and walk your dogs right now uh, at 6.06. You go out there. I'm just saying the north side, meaning let's say uh, North Center, Lakeview, even northern parts of Lincoln Park, Wrigleyville. Now, this could apply to the suburbs, too, because I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. Something I've never seen before. So maybe if you're out in Schaumburg or Naperville or even Chicago Heights or Gray's Lake, I don't know. Maybe you saw this this morning, too, and it's unusual to you as well. This morning, as I turn out my alley to get toward Lakeshore Drive and come to work. 
two wolves ran in front of my car. <laughs> I live in, now listen, Chicago's the third largest urban city in the country. Uh -huh. Two wolves <laughs> ran in front of my car. No, I, I, oh, you're I, not I, equipped to deal with that situation. I locked up the brakes. I'm the only one on the road. I stopped. And I go, am I seeing this right? It, it's been a long week. I got a lot of little sleep this week. Super Bowl week has screwed me up the whole week. I saw wolves in the city of Chicago. Not little ones, wolves. Yeah. That you see on, like, uh, Planet Earth, the show on National Geographic or whatever, <laughs> that are eating deer. Is that what they eat? Do wolves eat deer? I, do, I don't know. I, I elk, don't think so. They eat some, stuff for something with antlers. I see wolves eating on Discovery Channel. Really? Okay. Yeah. Is it a moose? Uh, could be a moose. <laughs> <laughs> it was two of them in tandem running like a pack through our neighborhood. And it's a husband and wife, probably. It's really cute. I, they didn't look like they were... On a Valentine's Day. Oh, my God. They probably are, though. Oh, my God. That's so cute. That's not cute. Are you kidding me? They were trying to eat me. Well, you are a pretty big guy. If I had gotten in my Nissan Rogue, maybe two minutes later, they would have been at my feet, these wolves. Uh-huh. Now, I don't know anything about... Now, people say right now already, uh, Andrew checked in and said, hey, bud, those are not wolves. They're coyotes. I don't know the difference. Aren't coyotes always reddish? I don't know. Like orange, reddish? I don't think it's a coyote. The hockey team that... Phoenix Coyotes, or Arizona Coyotes, they had a reddish tint in their logo. So I think Coyotes are normally red, but I... Well, we have the Chicago Wolves here. Yes. Of course. I know Trucker Mike's going to the game tomorrow night. He texted me earlier this morning. <laughs> I was like, why do you know that? <laughs> just, <laughs> and their logo is red as well, if I remember right. Okay. Why, why can't I remember the Chicago Wolves logo? That's... But but Wolves aren't red. We know that Wolves aren't red. Right. They're, They're normally they were, gray. They were gray. Yeah. With a white streak on the back. But I don't know the difference between a wolf and a coyote. Aha! Uh -huh. Chicago Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> gray logo. Aha, aha. <laughs> I mean, the, the mouth is red, the tongue. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a mouth. But uh, so I, I, don't, I, I know these people are all coming at me saying it's a fox you saw. Orange reddish is a fox. It was not orange reddish. It was gray with hmm. a black and white streak a little bit on his back, much like the Chicago Wolves logo that I'm looking at right now. I saw wolves. Their mascot's gray, too, by the way. The Chicago Wolves mascot. Are you sure it wasn't just big dogs? No, no. They were two wolves. How can you tell? They could have been dogs. <laughs> <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. All right. Well, I just announced that I saw a couple wolves. They ran across my car path this morning on the way in at about 3.45 a.m. A lot of people checking in on this. I th first thought it, it can't be a wolf. It's got to be a coyote. But coyotes are red, orangish. Mm -hmm. These were gray with a black stripe, just like the Chicago Wolves mascot, the hockey team. They were wolves. Just like how the Coyotes hockey team, their mascot is red, has that, a reddish tint to it. Thank you. I'm not an idiot. No. I saw gray wolves. We've seen hockey. Yes. We know animals. Now, I get a lot of texting on this because a lot of people in some of the areas that are a little more rural, they see these all the time. Even people in the city say they've seen things. But a 630 checked in. I've said it before and I continue to say it. You need to stop spreading misinformation. Do the bare minimum amount of research. There are a lot of idiots in the world who hear things on this radio show and TV and think it's gospel truth. We don't have wolves here. And coyotes don't attack humans. You were never in danger. I listen, I beg to differ, sir. Look me in the eye through my windshield. That wolf stopped. And the other one, he said, like, hey, man, we got one here. And the other wolf in front of him stopped and turned around and they came toward the car. Also, even if it's just a coyote, I don't believe that coyotes never attack humans. Might not be a common occurrence, but I feel like at some point in history, a coyote has snapped. We'll have to look at that. Yes. Well, well what kind of research do you do about wolves in Chicago case? What do you got? That they exist. If you Google wolf population in Chicago, while they might be limited to this part of the country, there is absolutely proof that wolves have trickled into Chicago before. Okay. There's our research, sir. Yeah. Mm. Asked and answered. Yes. Also... If you remember in 2012, I believe it was, a viral video even went nationwide when it was freezing here in the winter, and there were wolves running down Clark Street right in front of Wrigley Field under the sign. That's so scary. Oh, my God. Now, some people said they were coyotes. Uh-huh. But they were gray like what I saw. I think people made the same mistake. They're wolves. I would at least like, if you're going to be on Team Coyote, which I'm not, I, I'm with Brian here, my ride or die, we're hashtag Team Wolf. I would at least like to know the difference between a wolf and a coyote. Nobody has offered that explanation yet. Yeah. I, I, I go to the Chicago Wolves logo. It's gray like I saw, a wolf. That's all That's all I need. Yeah. A championship-winning hockey team. <laughs> what are they going to be, scientifically inaccurate? Listen, it's our only winning team here. 
is the Wolves. Um, uh, also, uh, Jeremy checked in, 219. Well, Benny the Bull is red. How many red bulls do you see running around? <laughs> <laughs> Hard to argue, Jenny. You know what? <laughs> Pretty good point, man. Pretty that, good point. Uh, Kelly said I saw one in Uptown two years ago, not far from where I was at. Um, that's where that's where we're at, basically. Basically, we're in Uptown. Yeah. You're, you're officially kind of in Uptown. I'm more in North Center, I guess they call it. Um, also... Edward checked in. A coyote attacked someone, a couple, actually, uh, right around NBC Tower, where we are right now. Well, that's a problem. But also, he says coyotes are gray as well. I've never seen a gray coyote. Neither have I. I've, I've just seen red ones on TV. <laughs> and in graphic imagery. <laughs> 219 checked in as well. Another one. Come on, guys. I can vouch for Brian. Trust me. I was the wolf. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's a one-man wolf pack. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is be careful out there this morning, wherever you live. Animals are running amok, and those things will grab up your little dog, maybe your big dog, too. Uh, just be careful is all I'm saying. I'm trying to warn the people. That's what this radio station and this radio show does, unlike the other shows in town. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show on Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And coming up, we have a fact that makes your brain go. Um, these are some words that you probably don't know the real definition to. Bed rotting, boob knee, <laughs> and shack it. Do you know what those mean? We will tell you coming up in the facts to make your brain go at 6.30 here about five minutes away. That's part of that. But we're still on this coyote discussion. Well, actually, it's a wolf discussion. Wolf I used to say wolf. I know. Yeah. Timber wolves, we've heard. Yeah, wolves. I saw two wolves this morning. I drove right across my path on the way to work today. They stopped, took a look at me, and then they moved on. They were gray and they were big. People are saying it's coyotes. I'm saying they were wolves. By the way, Minnesota timber wolves, their logo is exactly what you're describing. Thank you. Chicago Wolves logo, exactly what I saw. What's the Chicago Wolves mascot name? Oh, that's a great question. I've met him before. He's a really nice guy, but I don't know his name. Let me find that out for Chase you. Chase Luz's dream is to go to the Mascot Hall of Fame in Indiana. Has never been. We'll make that trip. But first off, we maybe have an expert on the phone, Louie, the hunting expert. He hunts coyotes. Yes. Uh, so, Louie, ahoy, welcome in. Hey, what's happening? Is it legal to hunt a coyote, by the way? Yes. So, there's there's different seasons. Uh, people can hunt them during archery season if they're, if they're deer hunting, uh, and they have unfilled deer tags they can hunt coyotes and then there's also there's also firearm seasons where people could legally hunt them you just have to have the proper licenses and stamps to to be out there to hunt them and where do you but live i just can't I, I live uh south like by iroquois county but i just can't i can't hear you talk about it saying being a wolf anymore <laughs> Why not? because because coyotes can be all different sizes some are some are that reddish color like you're saying yep. i've seen that quite a bit in my yep. hunting experience and then I've seen larger gray ones. Like, I have a picture. I could text you a picture one that we legally harvested, uh, like, last week. week I, I, I don't know if my <laughs> wife wants you texting me coyote and wolf pictures all weekend. I don't know if I can give you my number on that no. one. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. But, yeah, <laughs> but just letting you know, because I can guarantee it's not a wolf. So How can you guarantee I'm it? On, I'm on board with 90% of the people that are listening to you right now. 95% no, no, of them. No, how can you guarantee it, though? There are some well, wolves I guess, here. I guess, you're right. You're right. There's no guarantee, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't mean to make you backpedal so bad. I want you to sell me on the coyote, so the coyotes can be pretty big because it was big and gray. Yeah, they 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 can be yeah they can be larger. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Um, they're probably just looking for food. To be honest with you, you're talking in the middle of the city. I'm talking right in the city. I'm talking about a mile yeah. from Wrigley Field. Right. Yeah. I mean, they they're just probably looking for food. Anything they can. Anything they can grab, you know. That's what? why they came to Brian's oh. house. Well, I don't throw away food, so they came to the wrong house. You don't right. throw away food? I never, I eat everything on my oh, plate. Oh, I thought you meant you just had trash laying around. No, <laughs> no, no, but there's there's rats, so I hope they eat some rats in the hood. That'd be great. Yeah, that's, that's definitely definitely possible, for sure. So, do you hunt sure. everything, or just coyotes? Yeah, I mean, I waterfowl hunt. You know, duck. What'd you say? Waterfowl, waterfowl. A waterfowl. Okay. Yes. Yes, and uh, deer, coyote, that's about it. So, Do you I've eat all of it? Did with. you hunt? Did you eat everything? Of course, of course. Or I, you know, I'll either eat it if I, if I have enough, I'll, you know, spread it out to people who don't have much and, you know, kind of give them food for their family. So, Well, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's part of it. So, Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you ever been scared 
hunting? Did everybody ever come at you like one of the animals? Like not, not probably not the no. fowl, but a coyote. No, no, nope. Huh? They're 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 a lot more scared of us than than uh, we are of them. We don't shoot them in the back, do you? <laughs> <laughs> when they're trying to get away. That's not fair. No. Right. But yeah, so I'm pretty confident you probably saw couple coyotes okay well i'm glad i got an expert on the phone i mean i know what i saw but also you, you couldn't guarantee it which was very honorable of you to say i can't guarantee it but 90 percent. i'm telling you i saw some wolves though they were big hey you never know <laughs> Thanks, <bud. laughs> the brian and kenzie show on q 101 okay we were just about ready to move on from the wolf talk uh because kara got here um but we're gonna tell you what let's see bed rotting boob knee and shack it, what these words mean that have just been added to the dictionary. You think you know, but you don't know. We'll tell you in about a minute, and uh, the fact that makes your brain go boom. But Kara got here and heard our conversation that I just said about when I walked in today. I saw two wolves running down the street in my neighborhood, and I live... So wild. Yeah, I'm not like, you know, I'm not way out deep somewhere like near St. Charles. I'm living on the north side near Wrigley Field, and I saw two gray big wolves run down the street. Now, a lot of people are not believing me. They say you saw a coyote or you saw an Alaskan Malamute. I don't, I don't, no one's walking an Alaskan, they were, they were by themselves. Oh, they could have escaped. An Alaskan Malamute? Out of their yard. Not from I, Alaska. You know, they're, I understand. Dog. I find it hard to believe that two of them escaped yeah. and were patrolling the neighborhood. Maybe one broke the other one out. I yeah. don't know. There's a poll on Instagram now. Did I see a wolf, a coyote, or just some big dogs? It, all, all are possible. <laughs> all are possible. So go to our Q101 Instagram page and vote for yourself. But I know what I saw. I see the Chicago Wolves logo. You're a hockey mom. Yeah. That's what I saw. Okay. I, I believe you. Mm. I Thank believe you. you. Thank you. Somebody finally believes me. <laughs> <laughs> and Kara told me on the way, and I said, we're going to move on. But you said you, you I've hunt? I've been hunting. Yeah, because you have a guy that, that's a hunter. I dated a guy. And in Michigan, like, hunting's so big. So big. And sure. I, I wanted to go with him because I like being outside. So we went. I, <laughs> and kill things? <laughs> <laughs> she just likes fresh air. Wait, were what? you that thirsty for a date with this guy? You were willing to kill something for him? Well... No, I yeah. was. I. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's okay. We're not judging you, so Kara. He, I did not kill anything, oh, but oh. He, sh- he, <laughs> he shot a squirrel, oh. which I, you know, I never would even think. Why would you kill? He, the squirrel was screaming like a woman. I was like, did you hit a human? Because it sounded like oh, like a. Ugh. It was awful. Yeah. So we get closer to it, and I love animals. But I'm like, you have to put this out of its misery. It's screaming. It's in pain. And he goes, only if you'll carry around the squirrel tail all day. And I'm like, if you make me do that, you'll never see mine again. Oh. <laughs> and that's what happened. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Wait, so you did carry it around? I, he put it in my coat. It was so gross. I wouldn't touch it. You know, it was a fresh tail off of Aunt Yeah. It was, he was a loser. I, 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 later, <laughs> I later found him fooling around on his pool table with somebody, like, through the window when I was walking up his steps. So he wasn't exactly a great catch. On his pool table? <laughs> On his pool table. I mean, that's a power move. It's a I good know. move. I was, I was jealous. <laughs> I'm like, why not me on the pool table? So- <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. It's a lot there, Kara. I'm sorry. Kara Caribou joins us. I haven't even had coffee yet. Chicago Radio yeah. Legend. So let's get on to the fact now that makes your brain go. These are new words added to dictionary.com. And this is why it blows my mind. Because when I was a kid, the dictionary had incredible words in it. Right. You know, like amphibious. You know. That's an incredible word. It's <laughs> a beautiful word. Well, when you're seven years old and you see amphibious, I used to like... Oh, we used to look at the dictionary for the swear words when we were seven. Uh, I know. Don't you remember that? No, I didn't. That's you. Again, that's... <laughs> I looked up amphibious because I heard it on TV one day. And I want to see what it meant. And that's what I remember as the dictionary. You know, Eminem used to read the dictionary and learn a new word every day. I try to do that. And, yeah. that, and they try to work. That's why Eminem is one of the greatest rappers of all time, because his vocabulary is ridiculous. Nice. So, just a little other fun fact for you there about, about my boy M from Detroit. So, uh, bed rotting is now added to dictionary.com. What do you think bed rotting means? Not getting out of bed like the guy in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like the grandpa? That's actually exactly right. Oh, really? That was so just I, a guess. I thought some people might say a health issue, you know, your bed bugs are involved somehow, a yeah. sore leaks out somewhere. I don't know. But bed rotting. <laughs> the practice of spending many hours in bed during the day, often with snacks, oh. an electronic device, a voluntary retreat from activity or stress. Bed rotting. This is big with people my age. 
Oh, you know all about this. Huh? I know about bed rotting. I don't know about boob knee or whatever the other one yeah. was, but we'll I know that one all about bed rotting. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. They, but they actually say that? Like yes. A- rot is a huge word. If you talk to anybody 25 and under, they are going to use the word rot as often as they can. Why? Brain rot, bed rot, I'm rotting, I want to rot. This is... Uh, huh. perha- perhaps apathy towards the greater existence, but this is what is plaguing the young minds today. That's wow. sad. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their so, minds are rotting. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's bed rotting. Uh, boob knee. Boob knee. Case, what do you think boob knee means? Well, it sounds like Mitt Romney, which is all I, I'm thinking about now. <laughs> <laughs> is it when your boobs are so low they that's like hang to your kneecap? That's exactly that's what I was thinking. It, that's incorrect. <laughs> and you, you, and that's what you thought yeah. as well. Boob knee. Is pimples or a rash caused by your bra? Boob knee, like like boob knee. Uh, I get what that is, but like why? acne, what? it's boob oh. knee. Oh, I was thinking K N E E. That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, so was I. Yeah, my bad. I maybe I overaccentuated the knee I've heard part. Of back knee. People say back. I got back knee. Back, back knee, knee. Yeah. boob knee. Yes. that's now on on the dictionary. Okay, that's now it's in a lovely there. image to have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what shacket is? Shacket. A shacket. Yeah, shacket. No, I, I can't even. I mean, all I'm thinking is shack. Uh huh. Shaquille O'Neal, yeah, I, Orlando Magic number retired yeah. this week. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, shout out. Hey, hey, one for the big man. Shaq Diesel, who was at Lollapalooza, by the way, mm-hmm. DJ Lollapalooza yeah, for Q101 yeah. last year. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, but it wasn't. That's not what a Shaq it is. What do you think, Case? Well, now I now it's I want to think it's something Shaq. I want to think it's like when you dunk a basketball and you go, I Shaq did. Shaq, no, it's not right at all. That's no. a bummer. A Shaq it is a matchup, a mashup of a shirt and a jacket. A Shaq it. Oh. And that garment style became very fashionable in the last couple of years. A Shaq it. So. That's why it's in the dictionary now. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing. Shack it, yeah. Wait, so uh, just, wait, is that like a big T-shirt? Um, I had one, like a flannel that was extra thick. Like yeah. I could wear it as a jacket, even though it, was, it looked like a T-shirt. Like you might okay. buy it at Bass Pro Shop, yeah. something like that. Like Cabela's. Was, oh, Cabela's. Gander Mountain, rest in peace. Pour one out for yeah. Gander Mountain this morning. <laughs> Ari, are they going out or no? I think struggling, but still hanging in there. Yeah, that's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah. It is a shame. You could you could get a shack it probably on... Amazon now anyway. That's, yeah. what, that's where I got my jacket. On Amazon? Yeah. Look I ate everything on Amazon. You hurt, uh, what was this, Gardner? What was it? Gander Mountain. Gander oh, Mountain. Oh, yeah. Maybe I put him under. You did that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And Kara Caravu, graciously, we're honored to have her filling in. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Well, Kenzie is on maternity leave. She found one of Kenzie's nails, I by did. the way, yesterday. Right here. <laughs> yeah. And I saw Kenzie replied to your post on yeah, that one. Like, I was looking for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever hear that little tss, 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 when Kenzie's here? She files her nails. Are like you just, kidding? She'll be talking on the air. Just also go. Just beautiful nails. Oh my gosh! Incredible. Yeah. They're unbelievable. So yeah, you got, you got one you can put on there. Like I know. Kind of like a cocaine <laughs> nail. You have one. Because Karen, I don't, I don't think you have long fingernails, right? I don't, not that long, no. Yeah, you could have one on there. And then this just, is a pinky nail too. Oh yeah, you Ugh. should take that on, please. <laughs> okay. Blew that on there. <laughs> I don't know how she's going to change a baby's diaper with these nails That's a good on. question. Yeah. Well, she says it's easier for her to do anything with the long nails than without because it throw- she's had long nails yeah. now for so long, it throws off her depth perception. That makes sense. <laughs> That's why I can't do it because it, it throws me off the other yeah. way. It's kind of like if you had long hair your whole life and you cut your hair and you're like, mm. put a hat on and it flies off. <laughs> <laughs> what, happened? what happened? That's what happened to me when I cut my mullet off the first time and I wore a baseball hat the first time. I felt like I was bald and just the hat just didn't, nothing ever felt right for about a year, a baseball right. hat on my head after I had, I had a great mullet for a while. I, I believe that was uh, the photo you posted from when you were 21, right? Oh, that, yeah. That we, we talked about like on Windy Nacho. City Live. Yeah. Yeah, but I had that mullet in my 30s too. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Finally had to go. Megan was like, no mullet. I said, because I want to grow, I want to grow a mullet back during the pandemic because we yeah. weren't getting haircuts. And she goes, like, I'll cut the back off. It'll be fine. You My know, son and his hockey team all had mullets. Well, hockey like players. Yeah. The hockey mullet is yeah. amazing. Uh, we'll get the sports, by the way. Big hockey news, by the way, in Chicago. Also, uh, nine minutes away from 7 a.m., Killers in Vegas, GTFO. And right now, it's uh, Gil Curtis. This is not headline news. J-Lo says she's open to doing another movie with Ben Affleck. And just like that, the doomsday clock moved up 30 seconds. <laughs> Cher is reportedly obsessed with Paul Giamatti. She says he makes her melt. 
which is dangerous because she's 96% plastic. A study says millennials are the worst drivers, making millennials look up from their phones and say, wait, what? And a survey found that 75% of people reported better sleep if they had sex before bedtime. Well, no wonder why I'm a raging insomniac. This is not headline news. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101.